Hi everyone, it's James here from Antelope Audio. In this video, we're going to be looking at and using the classic American EQ bundle, which is available for the Synergy Core range of Antelope Audio interfaces. This is the first in a series of three videos where I'm going to be giving you some ideas for mixing using three of my favorite Antelope Audio plugins and the AFX to door DAW to DSP bridge software, which is also available from the Antelope Audio software store. So if you're ready to rock, let's go. For this series, I've recorded a short rock track featuring lead and rhythm guitars, bass, and full drum kit. Let's take a listen to the naked session with no processing whatsoever. So yes, I know, I'm cheating already, as the classic American EQ bundle is actually three plugins in one. We get the three band VEQ55A, the four band VEQ55B, and the VEQ56 graphic EQ. All three have been meticulously modeled from the hardware versions from a well-known American audio product innovator. Let's start with some drums. I've already put the AFX to door plugin on all the drum channels and the drum bus. We'll get to the drum bus in the third video, but for now, let's start with the kick inside mic. Let's add the VEQ 55B to our plugin stack, and the first thing you'll notice is that this style of EQ is laid out what you might think of as backwards, with the high frequencies on the left and the low on the right. As the user interface is a recreation of the hardware, you will also notice the controls are what we call stacked pots where the purple frequency selection is on top of the silver plus minus 12 dB cut or boost gain control. We also have the ability to switch the filters from shelving to bell or band pass for the high and low frequency bands, and an output gain control to help us keep our plugin stack under control. One interesting trait of the VEQ55 is that the harder you push the gain for each of the bands, the tighter the filter's Q factor becomes. This makes it a very powerful and musical EQ, yet still very simple to use. So let's solo up the kick inside mic and dial in some EQ. To record the snare drum top, as well as the hi-hat and the toms, I used the Antelope Audio Verge Small Diaphragm Modeling Condenser Microphone. Now I'd love to say that there is some science here to my choice of mic model, but it came down to two things. One, how did the direct drum hit sound sound, and did I like it or not? And two, how did the off-axis tone sound? In other words, how did the other parts of the drum kit sound in the snare drum top mic? I've chosen the Berlin K53, as to my ears at least, it gave me the best combination of tight, focused, direct sound, and the bleed sounded great too. To EQ the snare top, I'm going to use the VEQ 55A. It's very similar to the 55B, but it has just three bands of EQ and not four, and the Q on the bands does not tighten as you boost or cut harder. The center pre-selected frequencies are also different between the 3-band and 4-band version. 
and we have a high and low pass filter to deal with any rumble or harshness. So let's solo up the snare drum and dial in the EQ. For the snare drum bottom mic processing, I'm using the VEQ56. This is a 10 band graphic style EQ covering frequencies from 31Hz to 16kHz. I love graphic EQs because they are really quick and easy to use, cut or boost to your heart's content, or should that be your ears content. For the snare bottom mic, I'm only really interested in the sizzle and snap of the snare wires, so I'm going to dial out any of the unwanted drum tone. To save time, I've already added EQs from the American Classic EQ bundle to most of the rest of the drum tracks. Let's play back the full kit this time, and I'll bypass all the EQs at the same time so you can hear the total effect of the EQ on the sound of the drums. So there you go, there's a quick look at how you can use the EQs in the Classic American EQ bundle to process a drum kit. In the next video we're going to work on the bass and the guitars using one of my favourite compressor limiters, the Opto 2A. I hope you enjoyed that, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>